Now that the mask has released, I understand that many of the players have probably never experienced this map before, so I decided I would share the main loot route I used to use back in the Arma 2 Daisy mod days, which would get me geared quickly. Before we begin, you must understand that the mask is designed to be a hard map, so the stages that follow may have different time constraints depending on how lucky you get. But, basically, on the mask, the further south you go, you can expect to find less housing, less food, much colder environments, and more dangers such as wolves. However, with some luck, this loot route will help you get geared fast to combat these increasingly difficult factors. First of all, you're going to spawn in the north. You want to look for the city of Vorkuta. You should see tall buildings such as apartments and other high-rise flats. If you don't, it's probably best just killing your character and trying to get a better spawn until you see the city ahead of you. Once you get to Vorkuta, you should first go to the well and get yourself to at least 3 quarters hydration. The well is located in the school in the middle of the city. Then. Start looting for as much food as possible. You may find some food that is frozen, so you'll also need to get supplies for a fireplace. You can then craft a fire and place it on one of these many fire barrels placed around the map. You can then place the frozen can beside it to thaw the can of food to then eat it. You can see it will heat up over time. You then want to head south to the refugee camp. Down here will be a little more quiet from players and you can continue gathering essential supplies such as food and more fire supplies as these will become more and more useful as we get further south. Check hunting sheds and shacks too for heat packs as these will help keep you warm especially if it starts raining or snowing. Also try find a water bottle and fill it at the well. You may also wish to just sit at the well until you are completely full on hydration then hope you get a canteen from some of the military bases further south. There is also a military base just up the hill to the south of the outskirts which you may wish to loot for some basic military equipment and clothing to help keep you warm. Once you are happy with your food and water supply, head south again to Sebgen Airport and Chemical Factory. If you go on top of the hill, south of the small military camp, you can see the airport. You can follow the pipe network which will take you directly there or simply follow the dirt road. If you see any animals, kill them as from here onwards you'll find it increasingly difficult to find canned food. You'll also find some basic military gear here and I would recommend you try find some Gorka gear as it is waterproof and has good insulation. You don't want to spend too much time here though, so once done, head directly south along the mountainside keeping the coast on your left to the Tija army base. This stretch is the longest and possibly the hardest, so you'll need a good food and water reserve from here. After a few kilometers you'll find Natasia army base. Here is where you'll find good tier military loot, which will give you a good advantage for our next destination. After looting this you should have something decent to defend yourself with, but we want the best. So head directly west to Object Out 2. This is probably the top tier loot area for the mouse, so expect to see other players, and a lot of zombies. This is also an area with a large underground network. I won't show you too much of it, but it is inside this building, and it's probably best you explore it yourself, as I don't want to spoil that first experience, but you can find the entrance in this building, like I said. Now this is the loot route to get gear, but after looting this, you should be set on military gear, and you'll probably be thinking of setting up a base. So, head south once again to Brinsk railway station, You'll find a lot of industrial loot here, which will allow you to start thinking about that base. If you don't find enough, you can head east, crossing the bridge, then crossing the mountain to the east, to cross the Tara Bridge, which will take you to the old sawmill, which has much more industrial. In terms of medical supplies, you'll probably have the basics such as bandages. But if you want to get ceilings and morphine for example, your best bet is to head north from this industrial area to the area called Wafer Hospital, which can be found here on the map. Once you have all this, you should find the mask a lot easier to be honest, as you will have the necessities to keep a stable food supply from hunting. You'll probably have a basic base or maybe a stash, and that is pretty much it. 
Hopefully you can use this to your advantage to get some better gear and survive the harsh environments of the mask. If this does help you then let me know in the comments as I would like to know. I have much more in the mouse guides coming to hopefully help you get to know this map a little better so you aren't frustrated with how hard it can be to survive on the mask. So consider subscribing if you would like to see more. In the meantime, stay safe and I will see you in the next one.